Hello there, everyone. If you're watching this video, then you are part of the TTOR army, an army that is building itself up one subscriber at a time. And as you can see from the title and thumbnail of today's video, today we are going to be talking about Nick Fuentes, the Groifer man himself. So, Nick Fuentes, as we can see from this title and thumbnail, and as you'll see in this video, he has finally come out of the closet. And no, I don't mean he's come out of the closet as a homosexual, although there are a lot of people on Gab and the internet at large who think that he is a closet homo. No, that's not what he has come out of the closet of. He has come out of the closet and identified himself as a censorship-loving authoritarian. Now, what's the evidence of this? Well, we have this tweet, which you can see here on the screen, which was provided to us by Quarantined Koof on April 18th. And he said, Jesus, how thin-skinned are they over there? And this is a 33-second video clip of Nick Fuentes on one of his live streams. And this is what you see and hear Nick Fuentes say. Yeah, but I report like when when like people are shitting on me, I report their streams. I report everything they have to try and get them banned, and I just think that's like fair, because they you know it's like I agree with you. Swatting is that's like trying to kill somebody. So like yeah, it's a type yeah. of murder. But like you know, D you know, isn't it kind of gay to be well, like DMCA, DMCA, DMCA strike? Me, that's not fair. A like, DMCA a, a DMCA strike is not okay. the same as reporting okay, well, somebody yeah. because the DMCA oh, strike automatically removes the stream and removes their ability to stream. Yeah, it seems like a fair tactic. Days. I think that's a fair tactic. So, according to Nick Fuentes, whenever somebody criticizes him on the internet, he false flags all of their social media accounts and attempts to get them banned from those sites. And according to Nick Fuentes, this is a fair tactic. So, Sticks Hexenhammer 666 in response to this video said, I would like an explanation from Fuentes on why he believes such a tactic is fair. And of course, the answer is, it's not a fair tactic. So of course, I had to say something about this video, and I pointed out, Hard to believe that this is the same Fuentes that Gab CEO Angie Torba gave over $20,000 in fan donations to a couple months back to support the AF pack that Fuentes was a part of organizing. And you may be thinking to yourself, really? Is Justin just making something up here? No. And I got video evidence that I'm not making this up. Back when the event in question happened, I put out a video covering it titled, Andrew Torba Attacks His Own Followers After They Expose His Misuse of Their Donations. When Andrew Torba came out and admitted that he had donated over $20,000 in fan donations that were supposed to go towards Gab Social, and instead he gave it into the pockets of Nick Fuentes and the America First organization. Angie Torba got a lot of blowback from his own followers who did not like Nick Fuentes. They want nothing to do with him, and they had a huge problem with Torba taking their fan donations that were supposed to go towards Gab and putting it in the pocket of Nick Fuentes, essentially. And of course, Andrew Torba gave the most authoritarian gatekeeper response he could to these people. And I think this post might still be up, although he did delete the original post where he admitted that he made this big donation, so he may end up deleting the gatekeeper response he had to people. But anyway, that's what happened. And of course, one of the people who criticized Andrew Torba for taking $20,000 in fan donations and giving it to Nick Fuentes in America First was Joe Pritch. And shortly after he made this criticism... Gab started censoring Joe Pritch. As I documented in my video, Gab censors Joe Pritch for criticizing Andrew Torba's misuse of fan donations. So because Joe Pritch criticized Andrew Torba and Nick Fuentes, he got censored by Gab. He got at least 30 different messages from different followers of his saying that they were forced to unfollow his account and they had to refollow him. He had multiple subscribers from his Gab TV channel saying that they were forced to unsubscribe from him and they had to resubscribe and all other kinds of things people were telling him. 
So Gab literally started censoring Joe Pritch for criticizing Andrew Torba's decision to give a bunch of fan donation money to Nick Fuentes and America First. And this led to Nick Fuentes doxing Joe Pritch and then character assassinating Joe Pritch because Joe Pritch challenged Nick Fuentes to a debate about America First. So Nick Fuentes is a total scumbag, as we can see. And now, as we can see from this new video that's been passed around on Twitter, Nick Fuentes actually is a censorship-loving authoritarian. He literally engages in the same tactics that he condemns his enemies and critics for doing to get him banned from different social media sites. He's literally doing the same thing they are. And if you're doing the same thing they are, you're no different they are than they are. Which means that Nick Fuentes is not your champion of freedom of speech. He's not your champion for social media freedom. He is literally controlled opposition. He is literally just like the leftist authoritarians that scream and demand for internet censorship. Nick Fuentes is exactly like them. He was controlled opposition to placate a bunch of conservatives and right-wingers from actually doing what they need to do to make their voice heard. But Nick Fuentes was propped up by the establishment to basically control these people and prevent them from doing anything constructive. So, that is all I really have to say about this whole thing. Nick Fuentes is out of the closet as a censorship-loving authoritarian. We need to regard him in the same manner that we regard the far leftists who advocate for internet censorship. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to help me go from being a part-time to a full-time content creator, then I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button, check out my other videos, and leave your likes and comments down below. It doesn't matter whether you're seeing me on YouTube, or Joshu TV, or YouTube, or NewTube, or BitChute, so the concept applies to them all equally. And if you'd like to follow me on my various social media accounts, I would encourage you to check out my Tap My Bio profile, where I have links to all of the social media sites that I have accounts on. If you'd like to help me preserve freedom of speech on the internet, there are two ways you can do this. You can join and use my website Creation Social, which is an open source alt tech alternative to Facebook and Gab. A lots of great conversations happen here. You have true freedom of speech with very minimal drama, which I think is the best of both worlds. And if you like using Facebook at all, then you should definitely use Creation Social. If you want to help me create a video sharing site of my own, I would encourage you to donate to the Quarter Project. Quarter is an open source alt tech alternative to YouTube that I am currently working on raising funds for. It's going to be a site that is very feature rich and functional and it will have pretty much all the features you'd ever want in a video sharing site and all of the freedom of speech that you would want as well. So you can contribute to the Quarter Project either through my Give, Send, Go campaign, which you can see here on screen, or you can donate to the Quarter account on Flatter, where you can do one-time or monthly tips. And everything you do as far as Flatter donations go or Give, Send, Go campaign goes will go towards the Quarter Project. And if you'd like to help fund TTOR or the Creation Social and or Quarter Projects, then you can purchase products from my Teespring store where we have TTOR merch, we have Creation Social merch, and we have Quarter merch. And you'll find the link for that in the description box below as well. You can also help fund me by buying and reading my books. There's another inconvenient truth, what secular America hates, and there's another inconvenient truth to defending young earth creationism. You can find access to these books on the TTOR website. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day.